Hi, Aletha here with Create Your Future. I wanted to let you know that Create Your Future is giving away a free course, How to Find Your Blocks to Manifest Anything Fast. It's in, the link is in the description box below, so check it out. I know it'll be a great value to you. Also, I have courses available, and each one of those courses is on sale for $20 off. And then I also do one-on-one -on -one coaching, and I would love to coach with you. Um, it would be a great joy and delight to meet you and to work specifically on whatever your needs are and bring all of that into fruition. Today, I want to talk about thinking. <laughs> we think. We have, I've, I've heard some different figures, but the one that sticks to my mind right now, in my mind right now, is 80, you know, 80,000 thoughts a day go through our minds. It's a lot of thoughts. And that we have a lot of idle thinking taking place in our minds, um, where we're doing other things, working on something, and then thoughts are just going in and out of our mind. And unless we're truly, truly focusing on what those thoughts are, little things are slipping in and out that may not be in our best interest or are creating storylines that are not in our best interest or in alignment with what it is your heart's desiring. But because we are more and more becoming conscious selectors of the thoughts that we think so that we know that we are selecting the lifestyle or the realities that we want to experience by pushing it out of us, we think it and then it's pushed out. And then you understand that in the moment, you are creating your next 3D reality. Whatever you're thinking in the moment is your next 3D reality. And that because you have free will, your free will is simply to make a choice. Am I going to think of the old story or the new? Am I going to live from lack or abundance? Am I going to live from not having or having? And so you get to make that choice. That's your free will. You get to choose what your future 3D reality is going to be and you get to do that every single moment. So you can change anything, anytime. Just change your thoughts, you change your thoughts, you change your world. But you know, there's more to it than just thinking or roughly going over affirmations or intentions. We need to play, apply emotion to that. We need to feel how it would feel to be the person who is lovingly committed to a specific relationship. What's that feel like? How's that feel? And we need to then also live from that feeling, from that assumption that I am already with my special person. How's that feel? What's that feel like? And you live from that. And you remind yourself throughout the day that you are living from that. This is who I am now. When the thoughts of the past come up, you know they are only reflections of your past thoughts. So when when the circumstances in your 3D um, shows up, or you have thoughts showing up in your mind, remember that that's just an illusion. It's not real. So don't give it your attention. Don't give it your time and energy. Do not think about it. Instead, just let it go. Say, you know what? I acknowledge you're here, but I am not identifying with you anymore. I identify with this. And then you move, you go right back into your new story and you think those thoughts. And if you find yourself all, all of a sudden slipping or have slipped into some negative thinking or this part of the old story, it's not crucial. It's not the end of the world. It's not. All you have to do is immediately revise it back to the new story. Go from the old negative story into the new immediate because in the moment you create your next 3D reality. So you've canceled out the old and replaced it with the new. Well, how do you get rid of the 3D? How do you stop being bothered by the 3D? Because it looks so real. We are conditioned and trained from little up that the outside world is the true real world and that we are conditioned by the things taking place in our in our 3D. That's why we tend to blame other people and things. Well, I wouldn't be this way if it hadn't been for the stuff that happened to me as a child or this event or that event or that accident. You know, I wouldn't be this way, but yet the, the thoughts, the who you are, everything is you pushed out, meaning it is because of you. No one else. There's no one to blame about 
your reality that you're living right now. However, you do understand that we don't walk around as individuals in a state of blame. Because if you do, like, oh my gosh, I thought that and I'm such a horrible person. And now look what my world is like. No, that's lack and you're going to get more of it. You live from a place of love. You live from a place of understanding that I had a thought and now I'm changing it. And that's all it is to it. That's all there is to it. You just, you don't like the thoughts you've had, you change it. You don't like the circumstance you're in, you change it. You change it with your thoughts and you feel the feeling of what it would be like to have whatever that is, to live in that state of being. Because what you're doing is shifting from one state of being into another state of being because you know creation is finished. Everything is already finished. It's already created. All you have to do is select it. You are a conscious selector. You are consciously selecting your next 3D reality or your future. And then when you get to the future, we're waiting for the future, we're longing for the future, we're wanting that SP, we're wanting the money, we're wanting the health. When we get there, guess what time, What it is? It's the moment, isn't it? It's always the now moment. So in this now moment is your true reality, not the future, not the past. Now is the only thing that's real. So now you live with that SP inside of you and your happiness blissful. Now you are experiencing perfect health inside of you. You're living from a state of perfect health inside of you. You are living from a state inside of you of abundance, having all the wealth that you want. You are living from whatever your vision is inside of you in the now moment. It is yours now. We are always are trying to manifest. Trying is not a very good word because that's just like continually, continually wanting and trying but never getting anywhere. It's like treading water and you're not going anywhere. Trying is not the word you need to use. You are whatever it is your heart's desiring and you are that now inside of you and you live from that now inside of you. And whatever's going on in the 3D, you're just observing it because it's a past thought. I mean, it's a result of a past thought. It's a reflection, it's an illusion, it's a hologram, it's not real. You're observing the 3D because internally, you're literally living from the vision fulfilled. It's already yours. Why not live there? It's yours. So experience it in the now moment. As you do that, then you are creating your next 3D reality. It's going to push out of you. It's going to be reflected back to you. Our thoughts create, our feelings create. Our, together they make the beautiful um, end result of our manifestation it comes into us. So we need to think and feel how it would feel to have whatever it is our hearts desiring and live from that state of being. What is the other thing that's so important? Repetition. You have to repeat it. I mean, it's not something you do and then you, you forget about it and you go back into the old story. No, you are not dropping the new story. You're dropping the old. People say, you know, you just, you, you, you visualize whatever and then you drop it. What are you dropping? You're dropping the old story, not the new story. You are staying in the new story. You are persisting in the new story. You are living from the new story of having it. It's already yours because creation is finished. All you're doing is consciously being attentive to the new story and giving it your full consciousness. Whatever I'm conscious of, I am, or I am whatever I am conscious of. So repetition, be conscious all the time as best you can. And when you're human, so we think about things and when we do, we revise them back to what we do want. And you do not have to be afraid of losing what's already yours. It is already yours. All you're doing is embodying that state with your imagination, your thoughts, your emotions, your assumptions. Your, you want a person to change, you assume internally the thing you want. You, have, you want them to have a different personality or a different in way they engage with you differently in a more positive, loving way. Then you have to live from that internally. You see them from that internally. You live there and you approach them from that state of being that they already are the person your heart's desiring them to be to you. I've done that. It works. It's, it works. So remember that 
um, you are creating a new, new, a new way. It's not really creating. You're stepping into embodying a whole new state of being. And once you have really done that and feel like you really are that person and you're living from those emotions and you're not worried anymore about the 3D, you're just an observer. Oh, I've done this walking down the hallway um, at a situation and I see this pe the people and this person and I'm like, that's not me. Um, that th those circumstances have no effect on me anymore because it, I could have deemed it as a negative and hurtful, but they have no effect on me because it's a past, it's a reflection of a past thought I'm the observer because what was really happening, what the true reality is, it's not out there. It's inside of me and inside of me. All those people are everything my heart desires and they will, they don't have any choice but to show up that way because everything and everyone must conform to your thoughts, to your assumptions of them. So if you want to change something in your life, you have to assume it's yours because it is already. That's a fact. And then you live from it because it's yours. Why not live from it? It's the true reality, not the 3D. So you're reprogramming your, your, your subconscious mind by doing that so that it becomes your automatic response. What the more you live in the new story, the more it's going to show up easily, effortlessly and automatically so that you will find yourself. And this has happened to me all of a sudden I'm saying and doing everything different than what I used to because I have reprogrammed my mind to think differently than I used to. The experiences in my life are showing up differently than they used to because I have reprogrammed my mind to live in a state of already having all those things so they have to show up. So thinking and feeling the feelings of how it would feel if you already have it. You've got a thought, an assumption. Now you have to feel how that would feel if it were yours now, and it is yours, and then live from that. Recognize you are, it's already yours. It's all you're doing is living from it, embodying it, giving it your full attention, placing your consciousness on it more than the old story. And as you do that, the new story will grow and expand. The more you do it, the more you're persistent. It will expand and expand and expand. And while it's expanding, the old story is going to decrease, 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 and be gone. And you can do that with third parties. You can do that with any undesirable thing. You do not focus on the third party anymore or the undesirable thing. You focus only on what it is you do want. With a third party, it's just you and your partner and no one else and you focus only on that and you live from that and you feel that. And every time the thought of the third party comes up or you see something in the 3D, you go right back to the, the vision inside of you. That's the true reality. The rest is just a reflection of your past thoughts. Don't worry about it. It's not real. But what is real is what you're thinking inside right now. And that will become your new future, your new 3D reality. And you can do that with any undesirable thing, your health, money, your work, your family, your children, everything. You are a conscious creator. And I like to say a conscious selector because you, with your free will, have the opportunity, the choice to choose either the old story or the new story. You have the choice to go with your desire. You've got the desire, it's yours. It's created already. And live from that, embody that state of being. And then with persistence, it will eventually become your new 3D reality. It will eventually become your whole brand new life.